Hello again. This is Dr. Lorna Heiledig coming to you. Today, I want to talk a little bit about incorporating prebiotics and probiotics into the diet. By doing so, there are numerous health benefits that can be achieved. Among these are a strengthened immune system. A first line of our immune defense is within the intestinal tract. Therefore, the response of the immune system to pathogens can be enhanced by the consumption of prebiotics and probiotics, which help generally to promote a healthy microbiota. Secondly, another beneficial effect of incorporating uh, prebiotics and probiotics into the diet is reduction of inflammation. The development of chronic inflammation is facilitated by a constant imbalance in the bacteria within the digestive tract. This can lead to a host of other additional health issues. By promoting a healthier internal envi intestinal environment, prebiotics and probiotics are implicated in reducing inflammation. Thirdly, digestion can be enhanced by incorporating prebiotics and probiotics which facilitate the growth of beneficial bacteria and help to support the breakdown and absorption of nutrients, thereby improving overall digestion. As a fourth item, positive impact uh, of incorporating prebiotics and probiotics in the diet, is an impact on mental health. Recent study has indicated that prebiotics and probiotics through the gut-brain axis are able to have a beneficial effect on mental health and well-being by reducing indicators such as stress, anxiety, and depression and the, the entire mechanism through which this is done is the promotion of a healthy microbiota by incorporation of prebiotics and post and probiotics, sorry. Now, are you considering, are you considering prebiotics and probiotics to incorporate them into your diet. Prebiotics include foods such as whole grains, onions, garlic, chicory root, leeks, asparagus, barley, oats, apples, flaxseed, and bananas, among others. Probiotics are life microbes that are found in fermented foods, such as yogurt, sauerkraut, kimchi, miso, kombucha, and kefir, among others. So it's actually a good thing to incorporate these foods. Uh, some persons uh, resort to taking supplements, and my advice with that would be to always check in with your healthcare provider, um, who knows your health condition, and who would be able to make suggestions um, beyond what you can do from a healthy diet that incorporates these prebiotics and probiotic sources. If you would like to talk with me further regarding this topic, I can be reached at my blog at https colon forward slash forward slash www.letstalkhealthandnutritionwithdrh.com. I can also be reached via email 
at Heiledig Nutrition Consulting at gmail.com. Looking forward to chatting with you soon.